So here is the smoothie bowl recipe. You could actually do an actual smoothie and add more liquid like water or almond milk. I like to have it in a bowl, so that is the recipe I am showing you. I am using a Nutribullet. If you have a Vitamix or something like that, then um, it may change a little bit and I'll show you why. So basically, I put a little bit of granola. I like the almond butter. I'll put one scoop of the sunflower butter. Of course, you could use peanut butter if you want. I do a little bit sprinkle of turmeric, a little bit of avocado, uh, mango, dragon fruit. These also come in pouches. You could use that um, like ready to make smoothie pouches and some wild blueberries. Um, if blueberries are in season, I'll use them, but if not, they're, they can be too tart, so I just usually keep frozen on hand. What I have to do, because I'm using the Nutribullet, I have to put this in the microwave about 35 seconds. I've tried putting it straight frozen in and it seizes up the mixer. Again, if you have a Vitamix or something more powerful, you may not have to do that. So that's why I have it on a paper plate. I use, these are approximate measurements, um, about a half a cup of mango. Some mango will be chopped smaller, some's really big. I kind of eyeball it, but it's about a half a cup. Same for the dragon fruit. I just really eyeball um, the avocado. I just pick a few pieces up and then this is the blueberry. Same with the blueberry. I don't measure that. I just sprinkle some out. So it may vary a little bit. Um, once I microwave this, I will show you the rest. So I have microwaved the fruit a minute to just, you know, take off the hard chill from it. Of course, you could let things sit out if you wanted to. So everything I have just dumped in here, basically what I will do next is, again, I don't measure this. I just kind of eyeball it. So do several shakes of the turmeric. It will be a little spicy if you're not used to it, but I've gotten used to it. And then I do one spoonful of the nut butter on top. And I'm gonna have to have both hands to get this off here. All right, next I add some water. So you can see about how much water I've added. This varies. Some days, um, you know, it really depends on the fruit, it seems. I will think I'll put the exact same amount of water some days it'll be a little thicker, some days a little thinner. You know, it just, I just eyeball it here. I have to do that again using the Nutribullet or it will seize up. And sometimes if I don't have enough water, it will seize up anyway. So I'm going to mix this up and show you what it looks like. All right, so here is what it looks like when I've put it in the bowl. I put my granola on top. Um, basically I had to scrape it out. I always say um, if it comes out pretty clean then that's a perfect consistency. If it sticks to the side like this did and I have to scrape it out, then it probably has like a little bit too much water sometimes, not enough, I can kind of tell. And then basically I scrape it off here as best I can. I needed two hands for that, so I obviously couldn't show you. So anyway, you just get it off here as best you can and then I'll wash this up, but this is what it looks like. It will mainly be um, pink because of the dry fruit. If you want to add something else, like once in a while, I'll add like raspberries or blackberries. It will definitely be more red. The raspberries make the taste a little different. This takes some getting used to if you don't like like the nut butter or things like that in it. I found this is one of my favorites. The main two components are the mango and the dragon fruit though. So just experiment and see what you like. Hey everyone, well, I'm sharing another grocery haul and this time I'm filming on my phone. So it's a little awkward for me, I feel like um, I haven't filmed on my phone in a while and everything always feels a lot closer than it really is. So bear with me a little bit. Um, we'll start off here. We went to Sprouts and to Kroger. I have not tried this wine, but it was on sale and I thought it looked interesting. It said it's from France. It's Pinot Noir. And then this is the wine that I usually just keep in my wine cooler. It's, you know, one of my favorites, just a nice French red. And then I wanted to try a different tea. This is um, green tea peppermint. I usually like um, a mint blend, but I wanted to just try a peppermint this time. All right, and then I needed a few more backups of the collagen peptides. I use these. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I just mentioned the other day that you can get these, uh, the large size at Costco now. So if you're not um, familiar with that, and it's a much better price and you get like four ounces more. So these are great for travel. Um, I just use like, I bring a little clip with me cause I probably use, I'd say about half in each cup of coffee. So this will last me like two days or so. So I got a few of those 
And then we were running low on some bars. Um, we just have these on hand for running out the door or needing something quick. These are our favorites, the dark chocolate cherry from Kind. I've had those for many, many years. We like a few different kind, but um, I wanted to try this one, the salted caramel dark chocolate. And then I think there's one more in here, like a raspberry or something, cranberry almond. Needed some more um, Montalorin. A few of you had asked me when I did my what's in my carry-on bag about this. You could just Google it and it'll let you know, but basically it helps uh, your immune system, protects against viruses. Our doctor recommends it. Um, we started taking it right before we went to Scotland, so like a year and a half ago. It'll be two years in June, and um, you know it's definitely helped us for sure. Um, my husband wanted some raspberry tea he drinks tea a lot and likes flavored tea sometimes and this water i usually try to at least have like one glass of this a day i drink water all day usually out of the fridge it's filtered but i like to have this as well some pepperoni um again to snack on or put on we made homemade pizza on friday they didn't have the applegate brand but this is the brand we've gotten before i like the applegate brand better just because it has better ingredients no nitrates all that but this one if you're looking for one that just tastes really good, um, this one from Kroger is really good. Um, this lunch meat, again, I usually buy the certain kind. Matter of fact, I have a brand new one in the fridge, but I've really been craving like a sandwich lately, but that lunch meat didn't sound good. So I decided to get this one and um, you know, it, you can see what it has as well. well. I've had this brand before, I like it. Um, arugula, I always have that for salad. I eat salad a lot some um bananas as you can see they're very green but we like them that way so by the time we eat them tomorrow they'll be starting to get really good um so these taquitos we laugh because we thought about these like a week or so ago we used to buy these all the time if some of you remember from like old grocery hauls we have not bought these in probably like a couple of years matter of fact we the last box we had it set in the freezer so long we had to throw them away they got old so sometimes, you know, when you just want a little bit of snack food or something, watching a game. So we decided to eat these, but not make it a habit. And then I had a coupon for this pizza. We've had um, the private selection pizza before. They have many different varieties on Kroger, but I had like a dollar off coupon. So I thought, you know what, might as well get this. Um, I like to have a frozen pizza in the freezer at all times. And then these chicken patties. Again, we keep these on hand for just when we don't know what we want. Like for instance, last night we had a salad and we had one of these, just the patty, like not on a bun or anything. It's just for times like that, they, you know, are good. And some stocked up on some frozen, frozen veggies. I already have um, broccoli and green beans in the freezer, but wanted something else. I usually try to keep these little petite medley potatoes. The tri colored, um, we quarter them, put them in the oven again. If you follow me on Instagram, I've shown how I make these. And green apples, needed some tuna, some orange pepper, and we were out of olives. We love these olives, these are some of the best tasting olives for just snacking this brand and the reduced sodium. Needed some raisins, and these are the other kind of olives I always keep on hand. And then needed to replenish some baking supplies. So um, this is my favorite, the Ghirardelli. I like the milk chocolate way better um, than the cinnamon sweet. I think those are a little harsh. And then decided to get these. Sometimes I'll make cookies with these. What I do is usually make a big batch and then I'll freeze them. And then when we want, um, you know, some fresh cookies, I just pop a few in the oven. Needed a lemon. Got some chicken breast. We'll probably just grill that. Not sure what we're doing, but haven't purchased chicken breast in a while. Um, some cranberry juice. This is the kind we typically get. Mayonnaise, I'm running out because we just made tuna salad. Um, that's about the only time I feel like we use mayonnaise, honestly, so we got some more of that. Some um, sourdough bread, this one's really good. And I can get this at Sprouts or Kroger. So I decided to get that. Like I'll do avocado toast sometimes or like tuna salad on it, just once in a while. And then sometimes we'll, um, almost like grill it and rub garlic on it and tomatoes and like some feta cheese. That's really good too. And then this is the mouthwash I have used for years and years and years. Needed a backup of that. Just a few more things here. We got it sprouts. I picked up some rotisserie chicken. This is just nice to have sometimes for lunch or like I'll put it in a 
a pan on the stove like with some salsa or something we can make like easy tacos out of it that's like an easy idea um, tomatoes for I think I'm gonna make a shrimp pasta this week I already had frozen shrimp we usually have salmon shrimp some a few things like that always in the freezer outside and then um, these blends I will buy from time to time just to have as a sad um, a side with like fish or something so these are good some celery um, some blueberries and a couple things of salad I've mentioned this before I like these little salad kits I don't use what's in the kit i just like it for the lettuce um, but the mediterranean crunch and then uh, the maple bourbon bourbon bacon i did use the bacon and these little things the other day when i made salad but like i said before i mixed this with the arugula that i showed you so that's it for this week's grocery haul thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye